Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Priestess and Medium Roswell and your cards are flipping already. They're trying to tell me a big old story about this love triangle. <laughs> I hope that you all are doing well as possible right now. Staying safe and blessed and in positive energy. It's good to see you again and spend time with you because you all know I get busy sometimes. You're in the soul family, you know Priestess Roswell gets busy sometimes. Um, if you would like to contact me, my information is below. You're welcome to contact me. And uh, yes, I do take phone readings. I've been thinking about you all very much. Um, and I do enjoy giving you the readings and spending time with you. I do love you. Thank you for being positive and supportive here and loving. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is about a third party or will this person return to me fully because there is another person that they live with. Sometimes the other person lives with another person. Um, sometimes it's just that you don't know that you're in a love triangle and you're trying to confirm it somehow. Um, it happens on both sides, male and female. Um, it's not really a, a cookie cutter way to understand it all the time. Sometimes the third person is a soulmate to the person and they haven't been able to let themselves go. You know, no matter how silly it sounds, they have not been able to let themselves go. So, or to cut off things and end it with this third party, you know. So there's a lot to understand. Excuse me, drinking coffee. I think one of the worst things is if you start to blame yourself and you start to blame yourself because you want love, fulfilling, and equal. You deserve it. You know, you deserve that fulfilling, equal love. So you cannot um, blame yourself and go into all of the hatred, the self-doubt, the obsessive thoughts. Um, you know, you can't always blame yourself. Sometimes it does happen, you know, whether it's marriage, common law, girlfriend, boyfriend, um, someone that you consider a soulmate and you just hook up with them sometimes, you know, friends with benefits. It's all kinds of scenarios that play out with love triangles. I used to do these Aries through Pisces. If you all would like that again, please let me know and comment. It's just that, um, you know, with my readings and the work that I do producing bath sauce, root work candles, soaps, lotions, and magical and conjure oils, I produce all of those things with the highest good. So I'm, you know, a little bit busy in between, you know. So if you all would really like to see the love triangle readings again, you know, Aries through Pisces, you have to let me know. You guys should, you know, being part of the soul family, you should let me know things anyway, right? Stay in contact and then I'll know more. Okay, here we go. I do feel there's already some kind of negative energy stuck or attached to one of you, though. I really do. Let's see what Mother, Father, God, and Blessed Holy Spirit, what do you have to say about this love triangle situation and the highest good and the highest light mother father god blessed holy spirit spirits and angels of love and romance please let me know and tell me show me so these people watching will you know my soul family will have clarity on what's going on here okay i can already hear a male say we're just dating we're just dating huh uh, it's exhausting you. Is the situation exhausting you? Hmm. Let's see. Let's go into this. <clears throat> yeah. So what I'm seeing here is that, and these cards are, <laughs> they're a little bit risque. They're the card, the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So, there is a male, um, there's a domination energy here. This person can be, sometimes they can be cold and aloof, but not in the real harsh ways. They're cold and aloof sometimes in the way that they want their way first all the time. Okay, they don't really understand that everything has to be mutual. Affection has to be mutual. Um, you know, showing concern and love has to be mutual in order for it to be a relationship. They don't always get that. Okay, that's part of their characteristic. They like being able to sneak. It's two people that are definitely sneaking. 
this is like the affair card right here. You see this? They're trying to, you know, they want dirty sex or you know, whatever it is. And what it's doing is it's leaving one of the people stuck because there's the two of cups and the two of pentacles. Someone is juggling a person, right? One of these people is very much interested in their own sexual desires and, you know, how they're going to do it that time. What's going to happen? Is it going to be really risque? Is it going to be more exciting than it was the last time? But there's one person involved here who is juggling an actual soulmate to a cups kind of relationship along with this. And they don't really appreciate all the mess that they've been dragged into. Okay. Yeah, we definitely, it's two kings here. So we've got very much confirmed the domination energy of someone who says, yes, I can have my cake and eat it too. I can have both of you. You know, I know that you might not like it, but you know, this is kind of the way that I am. Um, there is someone who has already threatened divorce or breakup. They've already threatened it because I've got my, um, you see this, it's like after the breakup happens, this is a card for this in the day. After the breakup happens and they're depressed, they're drinking too much, um, you know, this person is like, yeah, it, it's not really good for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave you. It's almost like the person's energy answering when I first said in the beginning that I hear someone say, "I'm we're just dating. And this other person is like, yeah, but look at what it's doing to me. You know, there's a breakup, there's a divorce. There's the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is a lot of sadness, okay? It's like this energy of after a breakup happens or the sorrow that's really being felt. Um, I can also very clearly see that there's someone, it feels like this is a woman's energy and she is totally lost like she can't even put together two plus two anymore <laughs> because her emotions are so like riveted and she cannot believe what's happening and playing out in this whole scenario with the love triangle so it's like she can't even make up two plus two anymore she can't even decide you know is that really real anymore yeah so you need this if you're drifting like that and you feel like you you don't even have any sense of balance or peace of mind anymore you need spiritual help you need the the actual creature comforts your wealth your abundance how we take care of ourselves your soul's energy you need all of it put back together again that's why the temperance is here you need the balance back in your life <clears throat> and here we have the woman with two men see i the the man with two women uh, excuse me so i can't even make this up this is it right here this is someone who is either married or common law and they have two women okay it's two women these women, they're, they're really addicted to him, but they don't seem happy. You notice that? The Herald Font is about marriage and long-standing relationships. So there's one male involved for some of you, not everybody watching. There's one male and there's two women. They're drawn to him. They're addicted to him. He has control. He can make these women be submissive, but they're just not really happy. Okay. So for some of you, you know exactly what I mean. This is the soulmate energy again. So for some of you, you're reflecting on the past and how it used to be so good and how your life changed when this person came into your life and you were so happy and comfortable and how for some of you, you know, for some of you, things have changed in your marriage and in your relationship and it just feels like this person is very comfortable with you and they know you really well. You know them really well, but the love is not really there like it used to be. We got six of cups, two of cups. So it's definitely some kind of soulmate energy coming through here. Six of wands. <clears throat> yeah, this is one of you is definitely public. Six of wands is like exposure. Everyone knows you're a couple. Everyone knows you're engaged. Everyone knows you're married or, you know, whatever your scenario is. And it's two of you that are distinctly, openly a couple. You know, you you can walk hand in hand down the street together, but the other one can't do that, you know, because it's still hidden. Six of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay. Yeah, I feel like one person may have a child. Okay, one person may have a child with this person. They're public. Everything's out in the open. You know, and this person is, you know, so, so open with you. It has this history with you. 
for one of you, you are hanging on, okay, with the Six of Pentacles energy. It's like, it's like you just need to be fed or this person may need to be fed a certain number of text messages a day, okay? Um, a phone call a certain amount of times per week. Um, social media posts with this person, you know, so many times a week so that they will stay connected or so or so that you will stay connected and you won't complain about not having all the time attention and energy that the other one has with them or vice versa you know that's what the six of pentacles is about someone feeding you steady little amounts of attention um so that you will stay hooked do you see what i'm saying so you'll stay hanging on okay Ten of Pentacles, yep, long-term relationship. The devil, so this is uh, sexual addiction. Uh, this could be very, very good, um, playful, creative, you know, sex and energy in the way that you are with this person, almost to the point of addiction, okay? Um, so for some of you, it's just the adrenaline and excitement here. Eight of Pentacles, this is one person being cut off. You see how, you know, she's not even into this you know, it doesn't even matter, you know, that it may be long term or something that went on, you know, for a while. Ten of Cups. Definitely there's someone watching and you have long term relationship. You have all this good chemistry with, you know, your husband, your wife, your fiance, whoever this is. It's some really long term relationship that's being affected here. And as I'm looking at it, it's like, no matter that it's very long term and the two of you worked on having this good relationship, there's something that this person, they never let go of, okay? For some of you, this is just simple, like they are so addicted to social media, they never put their phone down. They're so addicted to video games, they never put their phone down, you know? For some of you, it's, wow, they never stopped doing drugs, goodness. They never went and took their medicine and went to counseling every week to handle their imbalances. Instead, they're reckless. They're gambling on the internet. They're sleeping with multiple people. They won't stay off of the dating app sites. They won't stop creeping around so they can get another piece of somebody. You know, for some of you, that's what the devil is in your relationship. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So this is two different women right here. Queen of Wands is very fiery and passionate takes care of like her inner passion, her inner fire, and lets it be known that it, that's very important. Very open, sensual type of feminine energy. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles who wants all the comfort and the long-term energy. So that creates another duality there. It's like, who does this person really choose? Do they just enjoy having both elements? And sometimes even though I know this is going to make someone upset, sometimes we can't always blame the other person because we may be fully lacking something. You know, we may fully be cut off from that part of us that may need to be in the relationship. So it's not always good to blame, blame, blame. Okay. Nine of wands, wounded kind of soldier energy here. So this could be someone that is so comforting to the other person. They're so, so comforting to the other person. And it's like, they just really don't want to let go of that. A lot of different psychological elements that play out when someone is cheating, okay? The emperor, memories, fatherhood. You know, I do feel like there's some, someone has a child. Someone has children involved here. Three of cups, yep. Three, it's three cups, not two. It's three cups, three different emotions, three different uh, energies here, okay? So this is your love triangle reading. Of course, you know, I don't judge you. I don't hold people in judgment when I do their readings. I really just try to give you the information, the love, the guidance, and different things that's coming through for you uh, from spirit and from mother, father, God. Okay. So that is your reading. I hope it gave you some clarity or some insight and I'll talk to you all soon. Okay. Have a blessed rest of your day. Bye-bye.